So my, for my first videos, I figured I'd record my reactions to equals three. Ray William Jumble. Hey guys, thanks for the feedback on the new look. Uh, a lot of you said the sound and the lighting were bad, so let me fix that. <laughs> <laughs> so this first video is blowing up this week. It stars this woman who apparently skinned a Muppet to get this fur coat. Two, through 100, 122nd, so I had to go around 119th and go, um, and I was, they let me look at the, the lawyer's building. I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. Yeah, that's great, man, but can you give us a description of the suspect? What the hell is a vacuum cleaner man anyway? Let's see, there's a mailman, a milkman, a policeman. Man. There's no such thing as a vacuum cleaner man. That's just something some stranger said so we can see your tits. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm the vacuum cleaner man. I'm here to inspect your, uh, your tits. Yeah, this wasn't just one mistake. This interview keeps going. You want to see my tits? You know, guys, oddly enough, I kind of want to see your tits. I don't know why. How is it that you give away that much unnecessary information at an interview? What happened was, the guy ran out the house, and the police were chasing him, and then one time, the camera guy saw my balls. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are people who still believe they would exist. Now, this video is about a month old, it's got about 7 million views, and there are these people who think they spotted Bigfoot. Oh, come on, that's a black bear. So that's it. That's that's your entire Bigfoot encounter. That's that's the whole thing. Now I'm no anthropologist, although I have moonlight as vacuum cleaner man. You're gonna inspect your uh, your tits. But this is not Bigfoot. This is either a grizzly bear or a black guy taking a shit in the woods. What do they think every black person is Bigfoot? Oh my god, it's a Bigfoot. It's a Bigfoot. It's a Bigfoot. It's a Bigfoot. summer job selling used cars and it was like the worst job I've ever had other than being back and forth. your tits. Regardless, this is by far the most honest car commercial I've ever seen. Fuck you, Paul the Malari. If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Car is a breakdown. Please, if you think you're going to find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tight. Bring your one. Real That's right. We'll fuck your one. So if anybody's not gonna f my wife, it's gonna be me. I don't know about you guys, but I will not purchase a vehicle. You can kiss my ass! This thing is actually a spoof made in 1990 by the Advertising Association of Baltimore. It was originally on VHS tape. That's how old it is. Don't wait! Don't play! Don't f with us! Don't feel quick! You're not only at Big Bill Hill! The only dealer that tells you to f off! Hurry up, asshole! Now, admittedly, this is an interesting angle for a used car lot to take. I mean, f my wife? Real f you be f***ing my wife all up front or in monthly installments. And you didn't know what my wife looks like. What this with my wife? You want to see my tits? You know what? I would. I would buy a car from here. And I would put rims on it, and I would tint the windows, and I'd put a system in it, and I would drive around town bumping rap music like all the other Bigfoots. <laughs> and seriously, guys, that's one of the best commercial schools you've ever seen. You should totally go check out the whole thing. All right, guys, that's today's episode. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, because if you don't, you get a visit from the vacuum cleaner man. I'll get to you, bro. <laughs> and there you have it.